In today's video, what we are going to look at is how I actually solved a problem that was happening with my graphics card using uh, 80 tiny 85. Um, so what was happening was my graphics card um, has a fan that uh, has a variable speed controlled by the graphics card. So there's, I'm guessing there's a thermistor inside that is measuring the temperature and a certain uh, microprocessor inside is actually calculating what speed this fan has to be in order to keep this cool. There's some kind of issue here. I don't know what the issue is. I don't know if the issue is in the thermistor or the chip that is maintaining that particular um, circuitry to keep this fan running. And um, what is happening is this was getting shutting, shutting down. So when I looked, uh, I saw that this fan was not running. So the solution was to actually make this fan run. So these fans are uh, four pin fans. Um, so in the four pin fans, if you just connect uh, the 12 volts and the ground, this fan runs at the maximum speed. Um, so that uh, is not what we want. We, can, we What I wanted to do is probably change the speed uh, using a knob or something. So that's my solution. So basically I'm using an AT Tiny 85 um, that is connected to a potentiometer and as I rotate the knob, um, the fan speed changes. Right now it's all off. Let me turn it on. So there you go. So now the fan is running and uh, okay, it's booting up. So it turns off. Okay, now it's back on. So now you can see um, as I increase this particular knob, the speed of this guy increases, and as I decrease it, the speed of uh, this particular fan decreases. So what this AT Tiny 85 is doing is actually generating a PWM signal that is controlling the speed of this particular fan. So now if I put it all the way up there, you can actually hear the fan. There you go. That's the maximum speed. So when I'm playing a video game or something, I just turn it on all the way to the top and when I'm just doing a normal browsing um, stuff I just put it somewhere around 50% or 25% that is good enough to keep this cool and running without shutting down. So there you go. So this is a solution for a complicated problem but I think the next step would be um, to actually have a thermistor that is being read by a microprocessor and that uh, has a lookup table that will actually control the fan speed based on the temperature. So it ramps up the fan speed depending on what the temperature is. So again, this is my naive attempt at doing this. Um, uh, in future, probably as I improve this particular circuit, I will uh, post videos on it. The four pin computer fans are made up of these four connections. The first one is ground and 12 volt. So if you just connect these two, the fan will be spinning at the highest speed. And the third connection is a sense. So basically you can detect what the fan speed is. So you get a pulse for every rotation. So basically you count the number of pulses. So that way you can um, count the number of uh, rotations per minute as a function of time. And that way you can get what the uh, speed of the fan is. So this is also called as uh, tack um, as well. So in some, uh, instructions you will see that this particular pin is called a tack pin um, and the last pin is a blue uh, wire that is the pwm signal so here it takes a signal of somewhere around zero to five volts this is just a standard that they have uh, designed for the fans and uh, the signal should be a pwm signal that is around 21 to 25 kilohertz so it's not a very specific value but it has to be in this particular range so once you give a pwm signal in this particular range you can actually control control the speed of the fan by just applying a PWM signal. So what is a PWM signal? So PWM stands for pulse width modulation. So what this is, is made up of two different levels. So basically, let's say you have zero volts and five volts and uh, the signal that you're generating in this particular frequency, 21 to 25 kilohertz is required for the fan. So let's say you have zero percent duty cycle. So basically you're not applying any pulse over here. So that's why you're not going to be rotating the fan 
fan but the fan has some inbuilt mechanism so if it's below a certain value it has a lower speed that it maintains but anyway so let's say you create a signal which is just on 25 percent of the time so basically this means that this this particular signal is equivalent to actually this being on for 25 percent of the time and off for 75 percent of the time for 100 percent duty cycle this is actually on and off but the off is like really really small so basically you have it on all the time so this is a hundred percent duty cycle pwm signal so basically if we can generate these kind of signals we can actually control the speed of the fan so that's what uh, we are going to design to, uh, we're going to do um so here there are two different approaches so the first thing i went with was to use a esp8266 it has an adc does Wi-Fi has a serial port so this is ideal but the only issue with this is it can't do a 25 kilohertz PWM signal so the maximum that I got it to do reliably was 1 kilohertz and 1 kilohertz signal was uh, is not going to work with the fan that we require so there are new approaches so there's someone who just recently pushed uh, something on the ESP8266 uh, branch so where they're using I2S signal to generate a 25 kilohertz PWM signal that's uh, basically uh, sounds and uh, there is another approach which is a low level uh, actually using the CPU directly to turn on and off a certain timer so these are two different I'm going to leave the links below if you want to check those out um, I haven't gotten time to actually check this particular thing so I just uh, switched to uh, 80 tiny 85 these are less than a dollar uh, to buy so they come with a voltage regulator but you can just supply five volts and ground directly and you have five pens so basically this can do 25 kilohertz pwm because it's pretty much an arduino um, uh, chip that is uh, is like a, the equivalent to uh, adafruit's uh, gemma chips um, so basically this has an adc as well it actually has three adcs um, and the only issue with this is it doesn't do wi-fi doesn't do serial you have to do something special to actually make the serial to work but anyway so so this this particular thing um, is just good enough for me because all I'm going to do is just read an ADC value and generate a PWM signal so I just uh, stuck with this particular 80 tiny 85 um, so basically this is the overall circuit diagram there's no overlap so what i'm doing is i have a potentiometer that has a 5 volt and uh, 0 volt so when this potentiometer is all the way uh, to the left so you're going to get um, 0 volts coming out from here and all the way to the right you're going to have uh, 5 volts so basically uh, you can actually generate different kind of voltages from this particular orange line so what i did is actually use at tiny 85 to read this particular voltage voltage because this is one of the ADC input and then I use this particular uh, pin D1 pin to generate the PWM so this is the most basic uh, solution so I just um, use a knob so when the knob is on one side you generate uh, a low P PWM signal when it's on the other side you generate 100% uh, duty cycle uh, PWM signal so this way you rotate the knob and you can control the fan speed